you're alive now. Hey guys, I got uh, cameraman Jordan helping me out, so now I'm on YouTube or whatever, Facebook Live. So now I'm going to do a relative compression test. That's going to help us determine whether or not the engine's hurt and we're wasting our time doing other diagnostics or not. So for the relative compression test, again, in here we're going to we're going to use the uh, the Pico 600 amp amp clamp over the battery cables, and what we're really doing here is we are testing the amount of amperage going to the starter through the battery cables, and it doesn't matter which one you use, either will work. And the amount of amperage going to the starter is going to represent how hard the starter has to work to overcome the compression as you're turning the motor over. So what we're looking for is a lack of amperage going to the starter on any one cylinder is going to indicate that cylinder is hurt and letting the air out and having low compression. So I'm going to crank the car up and we're going to Luckily, the 5 liters have a, the ability to disable the fuel and the spark when we floor it. If I go wide open throttle while cranking, the car won't start. So that's going to make our life easy for this test. I'm going to start the car, or, or try to start the car. It won't start. And that will show us the amperage, and then we can review that. And for that, I'm using the PicoScope, which is an automotive oscilloscope, and it basically is a fancy voltmeter that records really quickly how much amperage we're doing. And there's going to be three traces here. The blue trace will be uh, the amperage going to the starter. And the red and green traces, you'll see a spike. They are ignition sinks. So you'll see a little spike on the red and green traces that indicate when we are on cylinder number one. And that way we can identify what each cylinder is as the waveforms appear. And you'll see that in a minute. Okay, so this blue trace here is the starter cranking over, and we're going to take a look at some of these samples up close. And what we're looking for is to have any of these missing or very low on their peaks. And as you can see, these are pretty consistent. There's nothing really very different about each one. Let's get an, a measurement on that one time. So our highest ones are about right there. And our lowest ones are about right there. And then we can scroll through and look at all of them. Um, looks like the high side's about 208 amps, and the low side's about 170 amps. The 38 amp delta or difference, so uh, about 19, 170 plus 19, 1. About 190 is the average cranking amps for this starter on the stock 5 liter motor. And uh, if you look over here, you can see that as I scroll through all of this, these are all going to be largely the same. We don't really see anything <coughs> unusual here. If you saw any one of these humps really low, that would indicate that that particular uh, cylinder is low on compression, and then we would try to figure out which cylinder that is. And there is none that are terribly low on compression here, but if you'll look, this is the ignition sink. Every time you see a, 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 a spike there. Um, so if you want, I could even probably pull up the... the secondary ignition. So you can see these are the, these are the spikes to, that represent basically every time we're at cylinder one, you see a big spike of energy. And uh, the rest of them are in firing order. So this would be representative of cylinder number one, three, seven, two, six, five, four, and eight. And then it repeats. So if you have any that are low, uh, to make sure that we have one that's actually low, you can kind of focus in on that one. So if this is one, three, seven, two, six, five, that one looks a little low on five. So we'll check the next one. One, three, seven, two, six, five. It's a little low there too. Let's look at a couple more. One three seven two six five. 
one three seven two six five. So that's pretty consistent actually. Cylinder five is a little bit down on compression compared to the others, but we're not talking about much. Um, the difference between two hundred and eight amps and two hundred and five amps, maybe two oh four. So four amp or you know four amps worth of difference in a in a compression test where we're where we're testing. 200 amps. I don't think four amps is going to be particularly significant in this case. It might indicate that uh, there's a little wear on that sonar. This is not a new motor by any means. It's a 1988 car, so I don't doubt that there's a little bit of uh, you know age to this thing. So that's it. Um, that's it for this test. We'll we'll continue on with some other testing, looking for our lean condition. But before I got too carried into that. I wanted to make sure I started off finding out if we even have a healthy motor to start with. And I think this indicates that yes, all eight cylinders are pretty much well within spec and uh, good enough to say that we can trust that the engine's healthy enough to test the, the rest of the stuff and, and not going to create a false diagnostic condition in something else that we test because the engine's hurt. So I'm going to sign off for now and we'll pick it up with uh, some more tests.